Hello, welcome to apenasimagens.com channel. I'm Wagner Lungov, and in this video I'm going to show you a project that is very, very simple, very easy for you to make it, and extremely useful. It's a magnetic steerer. I see many advantages in producing my own photographic solutions. First of all is flexibility, because with just a couple of different raw chemicals, I can prepare dozens of different developers, and this is really part of the fun, especially if you use different films, different formats, you can use a variations over the same theme, or you can go for something absolutely new, something you find in the literature and you are uh, curious to see how it works. Cost-wise, it's also cheaper than to buy uh, what the market is offering in terms of developers. Quality-wise, it's okay. Uh, it's not better, but it, it's okay. It's comparable to what you find in the market. And quantity-wise, it's nice also because you prepare just what you need. If it's a test, you prepare just a little. If it's something used regularly, you can go for a higher quantity. So I think it's, it's nice to, to prepare. And the magnetic steerer, it's a must because uh, some formulas take like 30, 40 minutes to be prepared. So now I'm going to show you the details, some details about the construction, the soldering and, and the, the sequence. But in the website, you find the link in the, the, the video description, but in the website, there you have in written form the specification of all the components, the schemes and all the information needed to build this magnetic steerer. OK, quick view first about the bill of materials. You need a cooler like this. This is uh, 12 volts, very common, used for in computers. And normally they are rated also by the power or by the current, but, but don't mind about it because it's, it's very low, it's low consumption. To power this, you need um, something, a power supply like this that you can plug in your outlet and you will get 12 volts here, so you need a 12 volts power supply. Normally, it's uh, rated also about a current. One amp is very common, it's more than enough for a cooler like this. Even 600, 800 milliamps will, will do for a project like this, so it's, it's not a, a bottleneck to find um, neither the cooler nor the, the power supply. For the electronics, you need a potentiometer. I have here, it's a 1K. And that's the, the thing we are going to use to vary the speed of the cooler. Less common or less known for, for photographers, maybe it's, this is a voltage regulator. It's a LM317. But in electronics, it's just bread and butter. It's very easy to find, very cheap. It's, it's not an, an issue at all. The magnets, we, ha we need uh, one magnet that will be glued over here, over the cooler, and another one that goes inside the beaker. That's the one that will actually produce the vortex. And this one is better to buy in a specialized store. For this one, any magnet having a decent size compared to the cooler and to this one will do. This is not, provided it's neodymium, it must be a power magnet. But this one, it's wrapped in a material, it's a sort of plastic, maybe something like that, that you resist to the acids or the alkalis present in the photographic emulsions or photographic um, solutions. So this is better to buy uh, uh, in a specialized store. Those handling glassware for laboratories, they for sure have this magnet steerer. And this project was designed to be assembled over a panel like this. This is acrylic. It's uh, three millimeters thick, 15 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And if you go, if you go f exactly for the same specifications I'm, I'm showing the project, I wrote also, you, you have a, f a link to a PDF in the website 
that comes already with the template for the holes you have to drill in this panel here. If you have, let us say, a bit bigger or smaller um, cooler, then you have to adapt the, the, the drilling to your to the components you found. Okay, so that's it. Now I want to show you some details about the soldering, assembling the sequence, and then we are done. It's, it's a very simple project. Well, this is what I wanted to show you in this video. And one last comment. I think this project is very nice to be done in a group. So if you have a group of friends in analog photography, it's better that you cooperate, you buy uh, the components in, in higher quantities. It's even hard to, to find, like, like this LOM317, Normally it's sold in packs. If you buy a pack, then use one for yourself and what to do with the others. So if you have a group of friends that would be interested in having a magnetic steerer, would be nice for a weekend project. You buy a pack of resistors, potentiometers, uh, the voltage regulators. Maybe one of you have a soldering iron, has more skills for, for assembling it. So I think it's a nice project to be done in, in a group, in a school of photography or something like that. So I hope you liked it and see you next time.